How many times? Be honest, guys. Press one if you want to, or press one in your head. Yeah. Have you had a girlfriend and things are going bad? You've broken up with that girl, and then you think about your ex, and you even want, you want a message or you want to call your ex to chat to your ex or whatever. That's exactly what the chicks do. Fam. Funny enough, so obviously I'm still at that workplace where obviously I'm doing the testing, the one where I left and then the manager called me back to stay. So I did. Every nine or 10 days, this guy will phone me like, oh, he'd be like, oh just, just check in to see how things are. And I'm like, yeah, 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 I'm still looking. I make him know I'm still looking for another job. Yeah, don't, don't get too comfortable thinking that I'm staying forever. Because it's the truth. I'm still actively looking for, for, for another job. And I'll tell you something else in a minute as well. This is exactly what girls do as well. Yeah, but anyway. So he will phone me up every nine, eight, nine, ten days, whatever, just to see how things are, basically. He basically phones me up to see or try and gauge how long I'm going to be left at this job or whatever. And I said to him, listen, I'll give you a couple of days notice. If something else come, better comes up, I'm going to phone you and say, boom, I'll be off in a couple of days, hopefully. If I need to start the next day, then unfortunately, I'm going to drop off my stuff that day and disappear, unfortunately. He phoned me up the other day. And I said to him, because he was talking about bringing some new people in. And I made it clear. I was like, listen, the day you find my replacement, just let me know. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I'll, I will leave this job any day. I will leave this job any day. I said to him, listen, you can find my replacement. I will train them up. I will show them the ropes, show them the ropes for a couple of days and they can take over from me. What I'm telling them is at any moment you can get rid of me. At any moment, I'm willing to walk away. Yeah, because the ball's in my court. Yeah, because I am... Um, I'm not saying that obviously I'm superior or whatever, innit, yeah? but he needs me. He needs me, basically. So I can talk a certain way or whatever. Some jobs, if you ever say, all right, if, if, you know, if you want to get rid of me, they'll say, all right, well, you're fired, then fuck off. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, yeah, you have to keep these people on their toes. Same thing with Gyal. If your girl knows, if you say, imagine you're with a girl and you say, listen, anytime you want to find a new man, feel free to dump me, you know. What you're saying is, blood, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I can go, I might. If, if a guy talks like that, if a, if a guy chats to his girl like, anytime you want, you can get rid of me and get a new boyfriend. He's basically saying, I know within myself, I can go and find another girl. So I don't need you. Because a man that can't find another girl, he won't be talking like that, blood. If a man has just locked up and found himself a girlfriend and he struggles to find women or whatever, he ain't going to be talking like, oh, yeah, anytime you want, yeah, you can get rid of me. No, 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 no. Man, man, man don't talk like that. And you know what? There's certain man that will be bluffing and say, yeah, 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 dump me then, dump me then, find another man. Bruv, your girl will call you on that bluff, you know. Your girl will call you on that bluff. So you better be ready, fam. Yeah? Because there's a certain man there, yeah, yeah, certain man are blank shooters. Yeah? A certain man are blank shooters. Even, even fucking, um, even, even, even fucking Nadia. She has a work colleague. Her work colleague, I don't know what happened, yeah? She just quit the job on the spot. Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm done with the job. Walked out on the job. I said to Nadia, she'll be back. She'll be back. Couple of days later, a week later or something, the girl come back to the job. You see, yeah, this is, I'm telling you, I'm gonna start making more videos comparing relationships, because I've got one on the way. Yeah, there's one where I'm wearing a green hoodie. I already made that video. Yeah, comparing relationships to work. If you are an employee, yeah, and you walk out of your job, yeah, 
and then you return back to that job, expect your manager to not respect you. Expect your manager to take you for an idiot. Because what you're saying to that manager is, I can't find another job somewhere else. Why would you leave and come back if you really and truly had a job somewhere else? If you are a guy watching this right now, you know, like they say, like in the manosphere and all this stuff, yeah? If your girl breaks up with you, then you don't pursue her. You let her go and you wait for her to come back to you. Cool. Yeah, I stand by that as well. Yeah. But if you is the person who initiates the breakup, if you dump the girl and you walk away from the girl, even if you have a change of heart, you need to stand by that, you know? Don't, l l listen, this, this, this ain't a maths game where you... you you take and then you give and then it, it, you're at neutral or zero. No, 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 no. It don't work that way. If you break up with a girl and you've initiated the breakup, if you go back to her, you may as well uh, let the girl dump you and chase after her. Because what you're saying is, oh, maybe I made the wrong mistake. Uh, I, I made a mistake and, and now I need to come back. But if you break up with a girl and you go back to her, please believe she's going to lose respect for you. Because you're not a man of your word. Look at the comments, look at the comments, look at the comments. Oh yeah, 110%. Do you know, do you know why, um, do you know why it affects the girl more when you dump the girl? Because this is what happens, yeah? And this is why I love watching like AMS and that because I relate it to things that I've seen in my life and other people's lives and that. When a girl gets ready to dump a guy, a girl don't just dump a guy and then, well, most girls, most girls don't just dump a guy and then they're single and they have nobody. A girl might dump a guy and be single, but please believe she's got a man on the phone waiting. Yeah, waiting. Yeah, she got your replacement lined up already. Yeah, 110%. Any of you man watching this right now, if you've been dumped by a girl and that was that and you never got back together, please believe she had someone else that she was probably even chatting to on the side and she it was just like a smooth transition. Almost like she got off one train and then it was the next train to her next destination. Just monkey branching. Yeah, monkey branching. Now, the reason why it affects the girl more when the guy dumps the girl is because she ain't prepared for it. Oh, shit. Imagine, imagine you, you, hit up, you, you, you hit up your girl and you say, listen, everything's going smooth, but you know what? Like, you're thinking this, you're thinking in your mind, everything's going smooth, but you know what? I want to get a new girl. And you ring up your girl and say, fuck it. I want to end this relationship. And you put down the phone. That girl will come chasing you, you know? Do you know why? Because she ain't got no one lined up. She ain't got no replacement lined up. On the flip side, if she had a replacement, oh, that's all right. I don't mind you if you dump me. Do you know why? Because I've got someone to replace you. That's why the girls run and pursue men that dump them just out of the blue. Because they ain't they they ain't got no 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 branch to to, to swing to next. That's why it affects the women. That's why it affects the women. When your girl plans on breaking up with you, please believe she's got next man on the side to go to. Nah, she might have been banging them while she was with them, while she was together, or may not, but she's still got man to go and chat to, even if it's like, um, what do you call it? Um, the texting on, on Tinder or whatever, isn't it? Yeah. And another thing as well, oh yeah, the point I was going to make, because I said I was going to make a point as well. You know, so so sometimes, yeah, when I'm at this job, every now and then, like, I'll get four jobs in a day. I might do one job, and then my second job is a cancellation. My, my third job is a cancellation. My fourth job is a cancellation. These tenants don't give a fuck. They know electricians are coming around to test their house and they just disappear and they don't answer their door. They don't answer their phone. So my, my coordinator who gives me the jobs, she's struggling to find jobs. You know, I've got a list. Press number one if you see my apprenticeship video. 
Yeah, press number one if you see my apprenticeship video and I show the list of agencies. When that happens and I ain't got no work for the day because the tenants, I can't gain access. You know what I start doing? I start going through my mobile phone and calling up agencies to see if there's a job waiting for me. That's exactly what your girl does, fam. Yeah, that's exactly what girls do. They have a list of guys, a list of guys' numbers, yeah? Waiting, keep them in the friend zone, yeah? That's why every now and then, guys might have some girl just pop out of nowhere. Oh, what were you saying? Oh, but girls try with me all the time. They think, they think I'm stupid. I have girls hit me up now and then, like once every three, four months, just to say hi. They, they don't give a fuck about saying hello or whatever. They just want to make sure that they got someone maybe to talk to if they have a little break or whatever. Man, fuck off, man. Don't try that shit with me. Don't try that shit with me, man. Try that shit with me. But yeah, that's exactly what girls do. Girls do exactly what I do when work isn't looking good for me. I start calling other agencies and stuff. I started lining up. I've done, I've done it a few times. I've had a few days where the jobs are not... Uh, I've been messed around during the day for a couple of hours and I'm sitting around doing nothing. I literally sit there on my phone in my car with the seat back and I start calling agencies one by one by one by one by one. Literally, I'm just phoning them. I'm just phoning them, I'm just phoning them, I'm just phoning them. And that's what girls do. Girls... Girls have a list of numbers. Not all, but a lot. They have a list of guys' numbers in their phone. Back up. That's why certain times you might have a girl, you break up with her. This is why some girls never come back because they don't have to. <laughs> they don't need to. And when and they do come and when they do hit you up after six months or something like that, which I'm sure I said the other day or I released a short video and I said it, they're only hitting you up after six months because whatever new relationship they had um, that they're in, they, they might be on a little break from the guy. So they'll phone someone that they know cares about them. They want to talk to someone that they know still still has feelings for them because believe you me. Most guys that get dumped by girls still have feelings with that chick. So they will hit someone up that they know still likes them. Even if you ain't directly asking them out on a date, just the fact that you're even taking the time to talk to them makes them feel good. How many times, be honest guys, press one if you want to, or press one in your head, yeah? Have you had a girlfriend and things are going bad, you've broken up with that girl, and then you think about your ex and you even want, you want a message or you want to call your ex to chat to your ex or whatever. That's exactly what the chicks do, fam. 